Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the ls command. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your terminal, and you can do that using the keyboard shortcut, which is Control, Alt, and T. So you hold Control and Alt and press T, or you can open it the manual way by going through the GUI uh, to the dash home and opening up terminal. So now we're in terminal. I'm just going to run a print working directory command to show you where I am. So I'm in forward slash home forward slash Linux leech. And now we're going to use the ls command, which is the list command. So what this does is it lists the content within a directory. So whatever's inside that directory, it will list it for me. So now we're going to see what's inside the Linux leech directory. So let's just hit return. And there we go that's what's inside it. Now as you can see it's listing directories and directories and files but I know that there is more information within this directory so there's going to be more items there so how can I list all of them? Now the answer to that is ls space dash dash all to list all of the items within that directory now this command can be abbreviated because we don't like typing too much so single dash and a which does the exact same thing it's just an abbreviation so ls space dash all and hit enter and there we go we've got a whole load more items now if you look at some of these items you'll notice that there's a period or full stop in front of the item name now what this means is that that item is a hidden item so it can be a hidden file or a hidden directory and Linux basically uses a period in front of a file name or directory name to make it hidden so if we run a normal ls command we can't see it so we have to run ls dash a or double dash all to list everything inside that directory so there's some more options to ls so if we just type ls let's try dash l which is a long list so let's hit enter and see what that does so as you can see it's listed the items that aren't hidden but it's also given me some more information about them such as permissions information who the owner of the file or directory is what group they belong to and the size of them and the date they were created and then the item name at the end now I want to list everything that's in the directory but I want to see it as a long list like this over here so to do that we can actually combine some options by typing ls space dash l a or even dash a l so l a a l both do exactly the same thing we've just combined some options together so if we just hit enter on that you can see that now we've got some of these hidden files that are showing up and we've got information about them and it's quite a long list so that's how to combine some options now for the next step I'm going to show you how to list file types and how that works so to do that I'm just going to cd over to a directory I've prepared earlier so just go over to my desktop and there we go so ls this is what I've kind of put together just to show you the different file types and as we can see we've got a script.sh we've got a tech.txt file um, then we've got this funny looking one here and we've got two directories which we've seen before now to list the types of items these are we can type ls dash capital F now that lists the file type so let's see what happens and there we go we've got this new symbol at the end of some of these items now 
the forward slash indicates that this item is a directory so we know that these are both directories and I can open up the directory for you to see so if we have a look we've got directory 1, directory 2 then we've got this one here which is link directory or shortcut and then we've got script.sh and I'm a file.txt so we know that those are definitely directories now and this is definitely a text file so the at symbol must mean that this is a shortcut to somewhere and that's exactly what it does mean now this star over here indicates that this file is executable which means that this file can be run but I'm not going to run this file at this point in time because there's nothing in it but a star at the end of an item means that it can be run it's an executable item so now let's just use our cd command and go back to where we were so now we're going to use another option for ls which is the reverse option so ls dash r and what that does is it reverses the order of the items that are being displayed to us so if we just do ls you can see that these are the items that will be displayed and now let's try ls dash r so we can see the difference and there we go it's reversed the alphabetical order of the items within that directory so that's what ls-r does now for the next command I'm going to cd back over to where we were which is the listings file and there we go we're back there so it's ls now this command is a recursive command so what it does is it's going to list everything that's not only in the directory that I'm in, so not just my present working directory, but everything below that. So it's going to go into directories below that and keep going until it reaches an end. So you can see the ls output up here. So I'm going to type ls dash capital R, which is a recursive list. So let's hit enter and see what that does. And as you can see, it's listed what's in the current directory which is the same here and then it's also opened up directory 1 and found that there's another directory in there and it's opened up directory 1 level 2 which was this directory that's in directory 1 and it's found that there's nothing in there it's also opened up directory 2 which you can see here and found out that there's another directory in there and then it's opened up the other directory which is level 45 and it's found that there's a text file in there called hello world.txt so that's what recursive listing does so now let's just clear up the screen so now there are tons more options to ls and to find them all you have to do is type man space ls which will give you the manual pages for ls so let's hit enter and there we go this is the user manual for the ls command so you can navigate through this by just pressing the space bar to go down page by page or you can use the cursor keys to go down line by line and the enter key also goes down line by line and there we go we can see reverses there recursive is there and it helps you to understand these shortcuts so if you know what they actually stand for they're much easier to use and much easier to remember but if you do forget anything open up the man pages and have a look through and to quit the man pages just press Q there we go so that's the end of that tutorial I hope you found it useful and uh, thanks for watching goodbye